If you feel like you're too stressed or too busy to make your fitness a priority and get in shape, then this video is for you. I'm going to be breaking down exactly how to use your busyness actually as a powerful tool to get you in shape um, and to help you take charge of your fitness rather than putting it on the back burner. What are my credentials for this? I was a teacher for four years. If you know anything about education and the state of education in the US, you know that teachers work a lot. Um, in fact, especially in my first and second year, I was working 60 to 80 hours a week which is an insane amount of time. And initially I put my fitness on the back burner, but I was able to use the tips that I'm gonna go through right now to bring it to the forefront. And I competed in two bodybuilding competitions, got myself in the best shape of my life and built all the systems around myself to be able to do that. I didn't rely on willpower. I didn't rely on eating only grilled chicken and rice every single day. And I definitely did not spend hours and hours in the gym because I literally didn't have time to. First thing I wanna go over is just the mindset behind being busy and getting fit. And the way that I like to think about this now is that the times when I need fitness the most is when I'm busy. I was in a really busy and stressful time and I could have gone one of two ways. Option one is I could have said, oh, you know what, I'm too busy right now and I'll just have to do this when I get less busy. And to be honest, that's what I did for the first three months when I started teaching. I was like, I am too busy, this is too crazy, I, I, just, I don't have time to go to the gym, I don't have time to think about what I'm gonna eat, so I'm just gonna order out every day. And that's exactly what I did. I put on a bunch of weight, um, I got sick a lot because since my fitness and nutrition wasn't dialed in, I was susceptible to illness and I was surrounded by a lot of kids who had a lot of germs. <laughs> and so I got sick a lot. I was working like crazy. I was constantly stressed. I wasn't sleeping well. I had low energy throughout the day. I was constantly irritable. I wasn't showing up as my best self as a teacher. Now, all of these things just, obviously it didn't happen in one day, but by the end of the three months, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make a change. This is absolutely horrible. In December was when I hit rock bottom. I had to turn in my finals because I was getting my credential at the time and I was teaching. I was behind on lesson planning. Um, I had so many different meetings with so many of my different like coaches and I kept like slacking. I kept falling behind. I kept like not doing the things I was supposed to in my job. I wasn't doing the things I was supposed to in school and I was like <laughs> everything's falling apart. Like I think like I'm so busy and I'm so stressed and I'm still not meeting where I need to be. Over winter break, I did like a deep dive on my life and I was like, okay, what are the things that I need to prioritize? And what are the things I need to change here? Because I still have to get done this work. Like there's, there's no you know excuse. Like literally, I'm gonna show up to my classroom the next day and I have to have my lesson plan ready, right? There were certain things that were just like non-negotiables that I, I had to get done. And I was like, well, I'm noticing I have low energy. So there are a couple of things I can do here. I need to optimize my sleep because I wasn't getting enough sleep and I need to you know, optimize my nutrition because when my nutrition is good, I have lots of energy, I feel great, I don't have those peaks and crashes. Workouts, they release a bunch of endorphins. So I built a plan for myself that fit into my busy schedule. It meant I wasn't gonna be able to work out every single day because I physically didn't have time to do that. And it also meant that I would need to think more about my nutrition. What I started doing was I found a bunch of pre-made meals that were clean, had high protein, lots of veggies, low carbs, uh, moderate fats, so that I wouldn't get those peaks and crashes throughout the day. I would feel better, um, but I didn't have time to cook, right? So I found these options that fit into that schedule. Um, same thing with my workouts. I started creating workout routines that were shorter, more condensed, but still pushed my muscles to the max, put them under tension above what they were used to so that I could still be growing muscle, building uh, onto the physique that I had, which, which then down the line allowed me to compete in my first and second bodybuilding competition. By putting all these things into my busy, crazy first year of teaching, I was able to have everything dialed in. I felt way better, I started to show up better, but most importantly, by putting my fitness and nutrition as a priority during that really busy, intense time in my life, now every other time where I wasn't as busy, it became a lot easier. By my third year of teaching and my fourth year, I had started to clear up a lot of the 
work that I was having to do in my first and second years because, for example, my lesson plans were already done because I just had them from the previous year. Um, I got better at you know teaching and classroom management and all these different facets. As my skills started to improve, my workload started to go down, um, which you know made maintaining my fitness and nutrition even easier. <laughs> uh, and then because of that, because I had the self-confidence, I had the energy levels on lock, I had my time management down, I was able to then take on bigger and bigger responsibilities at my school, take on more responsibilities, more challenges, even start to build my company on the side in my fourth year, um, which led me to now running my own business. So all of these things, honestly, I, I give that credit back to fitness and nutrition. By dialing those things in, it gave me the energy, it gave me the confidence, and it, it literally changed my life. The mindset behind dialing in fitness and nutrition is that I think, at least for myself, dialing it in during the busiest time of my life was the best thing I've ever done because I don't think I'll ever have another year that's as challenging as my first year of teaching was, to be honest. And so the fact that I built my fitness and nutrition in during that time period gives me the confidence to know that whatever life throws at me, I'm ready. Like during the easy periods, of course it's easy to do, you know, have good fitness and nutrition during relatively chill periods of time, right? Like I remember in college when, you know, I'd be coasting the first half of the quarter when, you know, not much is going on. You're just going to classes and hanging out with your friends. My fitness would be dialed in. Like I was so good about going to the gym consistently in college. If you go back to my very first videos, you can see that my senior year of college is when I started this channel with some workout content. And I was like, I was fine maintaining it. But when I really got thrown to the floor was during my first year of teaching when it was just so crazy and so busy. And by building in all the habits that I have now during that time, it's allowed me to maintain them. Point number two is that exercise decreases stress. Physically, it removes stress from your body. Like exercise releases endorphins. Um, it has so many health benefits. Um, and it also reduces the level of cortisol, which is our stress hormone. So by exercising, I am literally decreasing the amount of the stress hormone in my body. Um, that's another huge reason that I think building up a fitness and nutrition routine during a stressful time has been just so beneficial for me. Uh, it's become something that I fall back on now during stressful times, whereas before I used to throw my fitness and nutrition out the window at the first thing. Like as soon as I started getting stressed, I would throw that out the window. And what I didn't realize was it led to me getting more and more stressed. Whereas now when I keep it at the forefront and I keep it as a non-negotiable, I'm able to stay relatively low stress even during a high stress period uh, because it helps my body regulate its neurochemicals. <laughs> Quick side note here, and this is point number three. So one of my clients that I worked with actually within a couple weeks of starting working together got laid off from her job. And it was crazy, it was insanely stressful. And I remember us getting on a call and her thinking like, uh, she was telling me, you know, like maybe I should, you know, push this off and, you know, start later. And we talked it through kind of to see where she was at. And after our conversation, she decided that she was actually going to start working on her fitness and nutrition, even while being laid off. And even during this really challenging, really stressful time by dialing in fitness and nutrition, she started to feel less stressed which allowed her to successfully apply for and get a new job within a couple weeks of being laid off. I wanna say it was like, I don't know, like three weeks. Within three weeks, she had landed a new role um, and was feeling so much better <laughs> uh, and then was even able to take her fitness and nutrition up another notch. But what she told me afterwards and, and the story that I wanna leave with you all is that dialing in fitness and nutrition during a stressful time literally allowed her to be successful long term. And if there's one thing you take away from this video, I hope it is that having your fitness and nutrition on lock during stressful times will make your life just so much better, will make those really stressful times so much better. Um, and then when you have easier, better times, you'll already have your fitness and nutrition routine built. The fourth and final point here is that life has highs and lows. It's natural for us to, you know, have 
peaks where things are going really great, um, low points where things aren't going as well, and then sort of points in the middle. And something that I've learned from Stoicism, which is a Greek philosophy um, run by like, you know, Socrates, Epictetus, a few other big names, Marcus Aurelius. Um, basically, the theory of Stoicism is that we will have highs and we will have lows in life. But if we can make those highs and lows a little bit less dramatic, we can kind of stay at a more even keel midpoint um, of just contentment. And so I like to think about this a lot and I like to use my fitness and nutrition to help me keep that even keel where, and my baseline literally increases when I have that consistent fitness and nutrition because I feel better about myself, I feel happier, I'm healthier, I have more energy, and I'm able to show up as my best self. Final quote that I'll leave you all with is, you can't pour from a cup that's empty. Uh, I always remind myself of this, is that I can't pour from a cup that's empty, so I need to take time to fill my cup by doing things to take care of myself uh, so that I can then pour from it and serve others. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment your biggest takeaway from it below, and I will see you in the next